10 on your side is following developments concerning lead in the water at Virginia Beach schools. After seeing our coverage, Congresswoman Elaine Luria sent a letter asking the school for more answers. And they quickly responded, but didn't answer all of the questions. Our Stephanie Harris spoke with the Congresswoman and the school superintendent to try to clear this all up. Yeah, Congresswoman Luria says that she's still uncertain why it took a month from getting the lead levels information to then giving it over to the public. Superintendent Dr. Aaron Spence says he waited to let parents know so that they had complete and accurate information. But how long should that take? That is a pretty lengthy period of time, over a month. So that, that concerned me. It's concerning to school superintendent Dr. Aaron Spence, too. But to be clear, he said, it was only a matter of days from when he found out until he released the information to the public. He still doesn't know why it took so long for the test results to get to him. That's why Beach Schools hired an engineering firm to look into it. We feel strongly that we need to conduct a review and that uh, we will understand following that review how to improve our process and we will share those findings with our community when we have them. Congresswoman Luria also questions whether district officials created a false sense of safety with the information they released. The district reports low levels of lead at 15 parts per billion, but standards set by the American Academy of Pediatrics show that's still too high, advising levels should be below one part per billion. The district stands by the testing results, saying the water lead levels have a low health risk for students and adults. You know, I truly believe that Dr. Spence, his staff, um, and, you know, all uh, entities within the Virginia Beach government are coming together um, to find answers to these questions. Dr. Spence says he welcomes the dialogue with Loria and made her aware that while Virginia schools are mandated to test the water, there is no clear guidance on how to do it and no requirement to report it. He'd like to see that change. So getting both clear and reasonable reporting guidelines, um, testing program protocols, uh, and most importantly, perhaps funding to accomplish this because this is not a process that is cheap. Both the Congresswoman and Superintendent agree that the health and safety of students and staff is the top priority here, and they will work together moving forward to make this happen. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.